Hey guys, my name is Veronica. Today we're going to be doing 10 minutes of core work. If you would like to join me, let's go ahead and get started on tabletop, stacking shoulders over wrists, spreading your fingers wide open, and stacking your hips over your knees with your toes stuck. Finding a neutral pelvis by gently pulling your lower belly in towards your spine to support your spine. Pressing your crown forward, ground through your hands, and lift your knees off to hover. Staying with the breath. Notice what starts to happen in your core. Feel the strength that you harness in order to sustain the pose. Inhale. And exhale. And bring your knees back to the ground. Press back. And let's get right back to it. This time, lift your knees off to hover. And stay there, or if you would like, lift the right foot off of the ground. Inhale. And exhale. Now let's switch sides, the other foot. And breathe in and breathe out. Back down to the ground, rest your knees and press back up. Now this third round, press up, get off the floor, knees off the ground, and then reach forward with your crown two inches, and then reach back. Come back to center, sway to one side, and then to the other. Let's do that one more time, full round, forward, and back. Come back to center, sway to one side, and then to the other, and rest your knees on the ground, and press back. Take a deep breath in, and breathe out. Give yourself a tiny little break. Circle your rest, and let's get back into a high plank. For your high plank, Second shoulders over wrist. Let's start exactly as we were just doing on our knees hovering. And then keeping your hips exactly where they are. Step back with one leg and then the other one. Inhale and exhale. Now tap your right elbow with your right knee and press back. Left elbow with the left knee and press back. Again on the right side, and press back. And on the left side, and press back. Downward facing dog. Inhale, and exhale. Again, shift forward to a high plank. This time, come to your forearms. And reaching forward with your crown, flip your feet so that your nails are touching the ground. Now tap the floor five times with your knees. Five, four, three, two, and one. Press yourself back, walk your hands back. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, hands to your heart. Again, forearm plank. Coming to your elbows and your forearms. Keep your toes tucked. And let's do hip dips. Lowering your hip and press up. Left side and up. Right one and up. And left and up. One more time on each side, right? and up, left, and up, hold it there, breathe in, and knees to the ground, press back as you breathe out, arms up overhead, hands to your heart. Transition into both pose, Navasana, if you happen to have a couple of blocks, that would be nice, if not, that's okay for both pose, and let me catch my breath. <sighs> Bring a block in between your inner thighs, 
squish that block as if you want to destroy it and then grab the other block with your hands stay right here and then lean back keeping the length in the spine shoulders back shoulders down lower belly in hug your ribs towards each other bring your arms up over your head and then bring them forward perhaps lowering a little bit inhale and exhale breathe in and breathe out notice that I'm not coming all the way up just slightly so my core is fully engaged the whole time supporting this control movement of core stability hold it there breathe in and then open your arms breathe out inhale switching hands exhale breathe in and breathe out inhale and exhale breathe in and rise all the way up okay I'm going to place my blocks on the side and from here you have the option to keep your feet on the ground or lift them off the ground arms by your sides tap the floor three times for three for two, for one. Lower to canoe as you inhale and back up as you exhale. Breathe and empty. Inhale and exhale. One block. Placing the block between your feet, laying back. Now we're gonna move that block back and forth between feet and hands. Up, reach up and down. Up and down. Up and down. Up and down. down. Lifting shoulder blades off of the ground. And one more time and down bring it up and ah oh, thank you so much block for helping me okay let's put that block away take a moment here bring your knees to a 90 degree angle hands behind your head elbows away from your ears feet are flex extend your right leg to hover as you lift your right shoulder towards your left knee and then switch and then switch you press away with your heel left shoulder blade off of the ground now hold it here go five four three two one and switch hold it here five four three two one now go back and forward at whatever speed works for you for five four three two and one knees to chest give them a nice hug inhale and sigh it out now bring your legs up towards the ceiling arms by your sides lower your right heel to hover and switch and switch and switch perhaps even tapping the floor so that you have an idea of how low your leg is coming keeping your feet flex energize two more times on each side and knees to chest inhale and exhale perhaps closing this core sequence with a supta bara konasana it opens your chest, relaxes your shoulders, 
and allows room for deep, nourishing breaths. Namaste.